So we have the bag. I'm bringing my mask, no, literally just in case, because some businesses still want you to wear them. So I got my mask. I got Blossom. Slide her on in here. I got pen, AirPods. My camera's gonna go in this case because I gotta protect her. And nobody knew what I was talking about on my Instagram, but do y'all eat wrap snacks? Because maybe, I don't know if it's just an Atlanta thing, but these are fire. Like, the, the, <laughs> it's a whole brand. I think it's owned by Master P, and it's just like different types of chips with like wrappers on them. And they're really good. So, this is the one I have today. A little dirt. I tried these over the weekend and it was good. Okay. So, we have our bag for whatever we purchase at the bookstore. And the Tefli, of course. It's been a long year, pour the glass out to the ones that ain't here by choice. I hoist it all up, this ain't love, no rabbit's foot. I got this thing wrapped up, the girl should have wrapped it. Do I have to wait? I tried, let me take my glasses off, child. All right, so I tried to go to the bookstore for keeps, and as I showed y'all, they had a little sign on the door that said, like, press the button so we can buzz you in. But, like, when I looked inside, it looked dark. I ran the buzzer twice, child, and nobody opened the door, and it is cold outside. So there is another black-owned bookstore that's, like, five minutes away from here, and they open in 30 minutes, and I already paid for parking. You see my face, right? I already paid for parking, but I have parking for two hours. So I'm going to go there and then check that store out. I think it's called like 40, 43rd and 44th. And then I'll come back here and see if they're open. If they're not, then it'll just be one bookstore because I don't got time. I don't got time to play. So yeah, I'll see y'all next. Y'all, this trip has been a fail so i was trying to take y'all to two different bookstores for keeps and 43rd and 44th and both of the bookstores are closed at least 43rd and 44th they had a sign that actually said when they would open back up so i'm gonna come back out here later in the week but for keeps they were just closed uh, they were closed they didn't have a number on like their website or on google so i had no way of like calling and like asking when they would be back open or like what it, what exactly was going on so i don't even know i, I don't even know but this was a fail but nevertheless i will come back out here <laughs> later in the week it's only like a 30 minute drive but for me personally anything over 20 minutes i do not be wanting to do it because i don't like driving anything over 20 minutes like i simply don't want to do that that's like a whole road trip to me anything over 20 minutes is a road trip so i don't know y'all it was a fail today but hopefully later in the week i can bring you guys back out here and we'll actually be able to go to some bookstores because <laughs> i've been trying to take y'all but uh listen i'll see y'all hopefully in the next clip at an actual bookstore okay it's been a long year pour the glass out to the ones that ain't here by choice i hoist it all up this ain't love no rabbit's foot i got this thing wrapped up the girls should have wrapped but if they asked us master no clue who it was, didn't see it coming Behind you with the candlestick, bet you know my handle sick J Will the way I handle shit, know my daddy told me boss moves Can't slow up, I know I lost you Coming after everything, the house and the wedding ring I just put my foot down, the cub on the coast, you better calm down This is your oasis, wind whipping, been embracing Wanna move my girl to day shift, but I won't take a night off I talk the same shit in the studio, the motion sensor lights off I might cough, I don't hiccup, I can't afford a mistake Beef on a bitch plate. Yeah, I gave an inch and didn't take. Y'all hesitate. I don't think you really want it. I was spitting for my brother and your cousin. Saw it coming a little tight. Red dot, that's a little sight. Yeah, I got my eye on you. I warn you, too big for you to chew. I'm big league. Double A, wind up. You need a battery to batter me and I can take a punch. You know my to-do list checked off by lunch. And your girl know that my belly filler. Shit, I'm gutsy. Not done, don't hush me. I got away. But with the words, the tongue and cheek don't Touch me and lie through your teeth and smile ugly. Head nods and hallways, handshakes, they go a long way. I'm all paid. 
Know my pockets stay covered like all steak. Finished school thinking this was our fate. Wrong take, yelling cut, cut it out, me. I got work to put in, you pulling out quick. Grab a towel, hit the showers, dry off. I ain't pounding from a loss, it's when it all costs. Been a tie game, you riding pine and I'm rising, yeah. Got the touch, no, that shit ain't surprising. You wide eyeing, like Revis put my girl on an island. Sipping my ties, green seek a silver lining. A gold chain that's from 84, I wore it and I made it more. But who you playing for? Or who you playing with? Cause it's not me. It's <laughs> so been a long year, pour the glass out to the ones that ain't here by choice. I hoist it all up, this ain't luck, no rabbit's foot. I got this thing wrapped up. The girls should have rapped, but if they asked us, messed up. No clue who it was, didn't see it coming Behind you with the candlestick, bet you know my handle sick J Will the way I handle shit, know my daddy told me boss moves Can't slow up, I know I lost you Coming after everything, the house and the red ring I just put my foot down, the cub on the coast, you better calm down This is your oasis, when whipping, been embracing Wanna move my girl to day shift, but I won't take a night off I talk to same shit in the studio, the motion sensor lights off I might cough, I don't hiccup, I can't afford a mistake Be on a bitch plate, yeah I gave an inch and didn't take, y'all hesitate, I don't think you really want it, I was spitting for my brother and your cousin, saw it coming a little tight, red dot, that's a little sight, yeah I got my eye on you, I warn you, too big for you to chew, I'm big league, double A, wind up, you need a battery to batter me and I can take a punch, you know my to-do list checked off by lunch and your girl know, that my belly filler, shit I'm gutsy, not done, don't hush me, I got away, but with the words, the tongue in cheek, don't touch Touch me and lie through your teeth and smile ugly. Head nods and hallways, handshakes, they go a long way, I'm all paid. Know my pockets stay covered like all steak. Finish school thinking this was our fate. Wrong take, yelling cut, cut it out, me. I got work to put in, you pulling out quick. Grab a towel, hit the showers, dry off. I ain't pounding from a loss, it's when it all costs. Been a tie game, you riding pine and I'm rising, yeah. Got the touch, no, that shit ain't surprising. You wide eyeing, like Revis put my girl on the Alright, y'all, so I'm about to go to the second bookstore. I already went to the first one. Ooh, it's teetering. All right, so we're at the second bookstore. The first one was a success. I finally got it. I'm glad that I came back here. I have planned to take y'all to four different bookstores. It was gonna be two in one video and two in another video, but when I came last week and they were closed, it kind of threw off the schedule. So I'll be sure to put up pictures of the other two bookstores that I was gonna go to for another video so that you guys can see it. And maybe next year or in a different video, I can visit those as well, aside from Melanin Book Magic. So I went to For Keeps, which is like a small black owned bookstore. And they have, they had a lot of like books about history and a lot of James Baldwin books, My Angelo, Bell Hooks, had a lot of magazines. They had a lot of like photography books. I really wanted to get the barbershop one. <laughs> Almost got it. I really wanted to get the barbershop one because I just love seeing like the vibes of like, when you go to like the hairdressers, especially like back in the day, cause like the feel and the vibes of that was like completely different. And even like the barbershops when guys go to barbershops, I just like the energy, which is why I love the movie Barbershop. But anyway, child, I really wanted to get that book, so maybe another time. But the two books that I got, The Will to Change by Bell Hooks. So I've actually already read this book, and I really wanted a physical copy because, I, like I was saying in my last vlog, which I will put up here if you guys haven't seen it but when i read a ton of bell hooks works this was the number one i wanted a copy of so i'm glad i got it she told me that they had redid the cover and everything so i didn't realize <laughs> this was the one that i had already read so i'm excited because i finally have a copy of it i really like the original copy as well so i might still get that edition but i got that and then i got this like little i guess it's like a graphic novel so it's called love conquers all really cute i just wanted something it was just uh, it's just cute it's a really different art style i think it'll be cute to read i'm excited to read that as well so these are the two books that i picked up i had a really good time in that bookstore the girls that were there i'm not sure if they're the owners but they were really cool <laughs> we were talking for like 30 minutes just about all kind of stuff chat it was a vibe i really enjoyed it there it was nice to just like walk around a small bookstore and just like see 
so many different options and it really made me think about new york <laughs> i miss new york sometimes because i'm from connecticut so i would go to new york a lot just to go to their independent bookstores because new york always has like so many new independent bookstores to check out especially in the bronx she gave me this one for free actually which was nice we're gonna go into here go my glasses we're gonna go into 43rd and 44th i think it's called so let's get all of our belongings and slide up out of here see y'all next clip No, no, these days I don't care for competition, you're the one that's racing no, I don't really want to talk about what I got coming out next I'm not showing up to one note just to show up in front of your friends I don't really want to meet you out Just to have something to post about Exhausted by the thought of having to pretend that I had a good time with someone who's just interested in what I got and not who I am. I ain't got the energy. No, oh, no, I ain't got the energy. No, I ain't got the energy. No, no, I ain't got the energy. No, no, but it's time. I got the goods. I'm take my glasses off. <laughs> I got the goods. So I already told you guys what I got at the first bookstore, which was these two books. Ciao. The second bookstore, because it had more like traditionally published books, I found so many books. I'm definitely going back there. The owner that was really nice. It was a small, comfortable place. The jazz was playing. It wasn't too busy. It just felt so relaxing. That's the best part about independent bookstores is like just the comfort. And then like if someone comes and talks to you, they talk about a book that they really enjoy. And just like the vibes are immaculate. I'm not gonna lie. I did miss my little cameraman, <laughs> AKA my man. Cause he usually, takes over whenever i film in a bookstore he's always like do you want me to film like i don't even have to ask him he's he's the one to grab the camera like he likes to make sure i get good shots he talks about and asks me about books that i have i just miss my man but i still hopefully got some good footage for you guys let me tell y'all the books that i got so i ended up buying two three four five so i ended up buying five books at the second bookstore all in all i ended up buying seven books today I'm so excited. I just love book shopping. <laughs> so the first two books I got were Beverly Jenkins books, which are a part of her Women Who Dare series. I already read the first book in this little mini series and I read it in a vlog that I did. I don't even remember when I did it, but I read it in a vlog that I did. I will link it up here if you guys are new or if you want to check that vlog out. But these are the next two in that series. It just kind of follows like women who are a little more bold or women who are like a different from the norm during this time period. So I'm excited to read that. The one that I got is How to Catch a Raven 
and wild rain i think this one is following a woman who owns like her own farm her own ranch so she owns her own ranch ranch farm whatever it's called yeah she owns her own ranch and this one i think it's like a woman that's working like undercover with the military or something like that or to just like horror someone in the military it has something to do with the military child that's all i know but those are the two books i got there and then i got something that caught my eye which was called friday black and apparently it's just like a, a ton of like anthologies a ton of short stories i know y'all don't like when people read the synopsis but i'm gonna read the synopsis it says from the start of this extraordinary debut nana kawame adiji brenya's writing will will grab you, hunt you, enrage you, and invigorate you. By placing ordinary characters in extraordinary situations, Ajay reveals the violence, injustice, and painful absurd absurdities that black men and women contend with every day in this country. These stories explore urgent instances of racism and cultural unrest and the ways we fight for humanity in an unforgiving world. You know, I really be I really be in my nonfiction bag. And even though this is like, I guess it's like focusing on issues with racism in our world, but putting it in a fict fictional setting. So it's kind of like nonfiction, but not really. Y'all know I be in my nonfiction bag. So I am excited to read that. Love a good short story moment. And the edges are deckled. The edges are deckled. Yeah. Yeah. The edges are deckled. And then on top of that, it has one of my favorite things, which is like the little flap in order to like keep your page. Oh, it's the small things in life. And then I got, I'm so excited about this one. I got the monsters we defy. So this one, okay, so this basically, I just scammed the back. So this basically is like following a main character who has the ability to talk to spirits and she's not a free woman yet but this one of the spirits that she spoke to said that if she steals a magical ring from like the wealthiest person within that city that she will be granted freedom and i've heard really good things about this book i heard a lot of people recommending this book during like the spooky season so i've this has been on my burning a hole in my tbr for so long so i'm definitely excited to pick that one up and then finally I got Black Leopard Red Wolf and honestly as expensive as hardcovers are getting <laughs> floppy books really are just getting more and more appealing like it's just something it's just something so nice about a just just a moment a floppy book you know hardcovers are like 30 damn dollars now so paperbacks I don't know if the I swear these paperbacks are better than the, what they were back in the day but they really are just giving me life so I'm definitely excited to pick this one up basically this is following a main character who is on the search and looking for a guy a boy that ended up disappearing and there's like shape-shifting there's a lot of magical abilities very fantastical I remember a lot of people talking about this book a while ago it definitely had mixed reviews so I'm excited to pick it up because I feel like just the covers are so gorgeous and I feel like it'll be something different bring something new so I'm hoping I enjoy this I'm excited to pick this one up and that is it stacks on stacks on stacks stacks on stacks on stacks stacks on stacks on stacks so I'm so happy <laughs> I just love buying books so those are all the books that I got I really had a good time again I apologize because I planned on taking y'all to four different bookstores and it just didn't work out that way but because when i went out before the books both of the bookstores were closed it kind of messed up the whole schedule so there's always next year i can always visit on a different day other than black history month so i'll probably take y'all to the other bookstores at a different time because i do want to explore a ton of bookstores in georgia everything is just so far from me and i'm trying to support indie bookstores okay so yeah there's that but those are all the books that i got i hope you guys enjoyed this video what should i make you guys leave if you made it to the end of this video please leave a i guess like money emoji like a little money bag or like the flying money emoji <laughs> in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time yeah okay all right bye bye